Oh man, I just feel sadder than normal today. We lost the hockey game. I, I'm just not feeling good. And it's raining outside. And there's clouds. Oh, it brings on my sadness extra strong. Whoa! Hey everyone, did you see sadness? Oh my goodness, we're going to have to create something for her. We've got stickers and crayons. We have Imagine Magic ink and we can create some pictures. And then we can also, of course, draw in here. There's some games as well, but we can draw our favorite friends. Maybe we find, hmm, a picture of sadness. I've got colors here, some red, yellow tones, and then I have some cold tones like blues, greens, and browns, and purples. And I think we can draw the perfect character with these colors. I even found this perfect drawing, look right here, of sadness. Sadna doesn't want Riley to lose the hockey game because Dad will be disappointed. But look how cute she looks in this picture. Let's go ahead and pick our colors and give this drawing to Sadness. But first we have to draw. Let's go ahead and start with the dark tones of Sadness, which is her hair, her eyebrows, and just this little part around her eye. I don't really have a light blue, but I have this like kind of charcoaly purple that might work as light blue. I also have this color for her face. So let's go ahead and add those two colors. Oh, it's total cuteness. It looks just like sadness. But we do have a background and should we add some color or should we make it blue tones just like sadness? I'm definitely going to add some blue and then maybe we just add a little bit of different colors. But let's go ahead and add some more blue tones because sadness's room is all blue. Oh, wow, I hope Sadness loves her first drawing. We've got Fear right next to her. Oh my goodness, she's so cute, even though she's always so sad. Let's see what else we can craft for her. I've got this Inside Out Play Pack. It's got stickers, crayons, and maybe some coloring pages. Ooh. We've got some stickers. It has all of our new friends. Oh, and the best buddies there, anxiety and fear. We can flip it and we've got some more friends. Oh, and there's little sadness in the middle. We also have four colors of crayons and our pack. Let's see what all is included to draw. We've got some games. How many words can you make from letters and all these feelings. Hmm. Here's a sadness. Look. I guess it's another drawing. We've got our first game. Find the path to lead and we to anger. Okay. If he's going to anger, we're going to use the color red. And I happen to have a red crayon right here. Hmm. We're going to start with the first one. A. Oh my gosh. A led us right away to anger. First game complete. Ooh, more drawings. We have fear and anger. Oh, look. Take turns. This is a game you play with other people. Connect a line in one spiral to another. Whoever makes the line that completes the square puts his on her initial. Hmm. Trace the gray lines to finish disgust. That's a fun one. More drawings. We've got disgust and we've got joy. Ooh. We can draw joy based on that square. We put the same lines down below. 
There's joy and anxiety. Oh, look. Missing piece. Which one do you think fits right here? Square one, two, or three? Well, here's a trick you learn at school. I already have that one right here. So we're crossing out number three. I already have two right up here. So we're crossing out number two, which would only leave us number one. Make a connection using the path. Transfer the letters into the circles. Okay, let's see what word we get. Since it's discussed, we'll use the color green. Here we go, first letter. Whoa, it's like going everywhere. Oh no, I went the wrong way somewhere. Hold on, let's try again. Around, loop. It's going back up. Hmm, let's try a different letter. How about T? Okay, T goes at the end. D. Right here. Oh, here it goes. We have the word disgust. Let's keep looking. There's more pictures to draw. There's anxiety and envy. And then all of our friends together. But check this out. I really want to play with the stickers. You can sticker up anything you'd like. My kids use these colors to draw. I think I'm going to put characters on each one of them. So we've got our big embarrassment. Oh my goodness. We've got fear and anxiety. We can put them both on this side. And we can even put joy on the other one. Joy goes here. Oh my goodness, look how tiny Envy is. Super duper tiny. And, oh my goodness, Anger definitely needs to go on the pack with the red crayons. And, ugh, disgust. Definitely goes with the green crayons. No oh, sadness. Oh no, is disgust not happy about it? And let's put fear over on this side. Right next to anger. And and we, or however you say his name, so bored. He can go right here. Okay, so we drew some pictures. And we put stickers all over the crayons. Let's see if we made sadness feel a little bit less sad. Wow, that really helped. I am kind of feeling a little bit better. Thanks everyone, that was so nice. Oh, you guys, you guys, you have to help me. Sadness, joy, and the new emotions, they, they're at the vault. At the vault? Why are they at the vault? Well, they were taking us on a little tour around the back of the mine, but these security guards, they got really, really aggressive, and, and they locked them up. I was able to escape, but we have to hurry and get them out of there. Oh, those guards again. Oh, uh, I hate those guards. Come on, I'll teach those guards a lesson or two. Okay, this way. Come on, fear. Uh, actually, uh, can, can I just stay here, you know, just kind of guard the headquarters? No, you're coming with us. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hey, can you can you stop following me? I don't have a choice. I'm stuck with you. Yeah, that's right. Ugh. Why are we stuck together? Hey, look. Look over there. Uh-oh. They look like trouble. Oh, that's them. Those are the guards. Oh, what if they lock us up too? They shouldn't. We just have to be chill and, you know, just be calm. Oh, I'll be calm, all right. Hey, 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 you too. Uh, anger, no. This is it, this is it. We'll be locked up there forever. Oh, no, how are we going to save them? Oh, look who's here, the hot-headed guy. That's right, that's me. You guys better let our friends go. Oh, that's right, those are your friends. Nope, we can't let them go. As a matter of fact, this girl right here, we're also gonna lock her up. 
Because she was with them when they were messing with the vault. No, 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 no. Please don't take me. Please don't lock me up. Nah, begging is not gonna do it. Oh, man. Now, who wants to go next? Now, come on. There has to be something we can do to get them out of the vault. Well, there is something you can do. If you finish a certain task, you can get your friends out of there. But you guys have to do the task right or they are not getting out. A task? Bring it on! There is no task we cannot do. Actually, I can think of a lot of things that we cannot do. Shh! Fear? No, don't let them hear that. <clears throat> yeah, of course! We can do all and every task you want us to do. Now bring it on! If you say so. Mm. Okay, for your first task, I have here a sticker book. I need you guys to fill out the first couple pages with all the correct emotions. Oh, stickers! Essie and our besties love stickers! We sure do! Don't worry, guys. We are going to help you guys out! Alright, let's get our book and let's turn to the first couple pages. Look! We have all the emotions in here, but we only have their shadows. We have to fill these shadows out with the right stickers. Let's start with the first emotion, joy. Let's find the joy sticker for that shadow. Oh, look guys, look at this sticker. I think it matches this shadow perfectly. Let's stick it on here. Oh, yes, it's perfect. Okay, next emotion, anger. Hey, I look like I have an explosion there. You're right, anger. There is some explosion here on your head. Let's look for an anger sticker that has an explosion on his head. Oh, I think I see it. It's over here. Voila! How about sadness? Oh, sadness is laying down. Where is sadness? <gasps> found her. She's right here. Feeling super sad. Now on to disgust. Let's see. Oh, wait, I think I see the perfect sticker for that shadow. There we go. Hmm, I look like I just saw a broccoli there. Maybe so. Now time for fear. I see fear over here and over there but those are super small compared to this shadow we need a bigger fear sticker oh right here this one is bigger than the other two and i think that is the perfect fit next we got ennui our emotion of boredom ennui looks bored right over here over here she goes Okay, we're doing so good. Just three more emotions left. Anxiety! I can see her crazy hair over here. There's anxiety, but she's with fear. There's anxiety, but this one is super small. Oh, I see her right there with her crazy hair. Now we got the smallest and the biggest of the emotions. The biggest one is embarrassment. And there's one over here. I think this is the perfect fit. Here you go, big guy. And finally, our smallest emotion, envy. Oh, I see it. It's right here. Ah! Ta-da! Oh, you guys, we did it. Let's see here. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. 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 Not too bad, emotions. I guess you guys can get one key. This is a light orange key and I see a light orange door over here. Oh, perfect. And in there, yay! We got one of our emotion friends back. It's Joy. I knew you guys are gonna come get us. Now let's get the others. Here's your next activity. Start coloring. A coloring page and look it's sadness oh we can certainly do that sadness is basically just different shades of blue so we're gonna start with her um, outfit which is a really light shade of blue and then her shoes is a darker shade same goes with her hair
and her body is also a different shade of blue. And ta-da! We did it! We colored sadness! Here, have the blue key. Yes, another key. And that is for our blue door. Yay, there's sadness. Oh, sadness, you are free. Uh, yay. Okay, here is your next task. Hmm? Who's that red guy? He's Spider-Man. He's one of the best superheroes ever. Give him a cool face, a silly face, and a normal face. And you get a key. Hey, what? That was so fast. What did you say? He said give Spider-Man three faces. A silly face, a normal face, and a cool face. Three Spider-Man faces coming up. Okay, let's start with his usual normal face. Um, I think we're going to get these pair of eyes. Do have an insignia, which is the spider logo right here on his chest. Oh wait, there is a mouth. Okay, and here is the spider web. That is it. That is his normal face. Cool. Now let's get the eyes out, and we are going to make a silly face. To do that, I am going to use this pair of eyes. And we're just gonna have fun with it. Like that, maybe. <laughs> oh, and then we're gonna put this logo. Wait, I think this is supposed to be for his chest. We can just put this um, spider on his head, <laughs> just like that. And then we'll put the correct insignia on his chest. You gotta admit, this is kind of silly. Now time for a cool face. That's a cool smile already. And check this one out. We gotta put some cool looking glasses. Oh yeah, that is cool. Oh, he looks awesome. All right, you gain a key. Yes. We got a green key. And let's open our green door. <gasps> Woohoo! Here is Envy. Oh, thank you guys so much for getting me out. <gasps> Disgust. Your hair still looks amazing. Uh, thanks. Start coloring. We got a color again? Ho oh, ho, no problem. And look, it's Joy! For reference, here is how Joy looks like. She basically has yellow everything except for her hair and her eyes. And also a little bit of pink in her mouth. We're gonna do a little bit of blue on the little starbursts on her dress. And then we're also gonna color her hair blue. This time I'm using a marker instead of crayons. Then we're going to color her dress yellow, her body yellow, her eyes are color blue, and then her mouth is color pink. Here you go! We did it! We colored Joy! Huh, you guys are better at this than I thought. Yay, another key! An orange one! Here's for our orange door. And we got, oh, oh, anxiety. Oh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, and you guys are out too. Wait, no, not everyone is out. We still have to get embarrassment and ennui. Oh, are we ever gonna, ever, ever gonna get them out? Wow, that one is intense, isn't she? You can say that again. Anyway, make us some desserts, will ya? I want two different flavors of ice cream. Same with me, but I want some toppings and whipped cream on top too. We'll be right back, and we might just give you the two other keys. Oh great! One last task for our two keys! Alright, we have our ice cream cup right here and an ice cream cone. Let's start with the two flavors of ice cream in a cone. Let's scoop up some purple dough. Let's pack that in, put it inside like so, and then we're going to add some pink dough as well. 
we'll put that on top. And this is it. Our first dessert is done. Now for the other dessert, he also wants two different flavors of ice cream. So we'll get the orange dough. Scoop some of that. Yum! We'll put that in there. And then let's get the blue one. Scoop some of that as well. Pack it in. And inside it goes. Yum! Now he also said he wanted some whipped cream. So let's get some white dough. Put that inside the extruder. And we'll push that out to go on top. But let's actually stretch it out a little bit, just like that. I think we're going to need a little bit more. So we'll do that again. So a little stretch. And voila! And we are going to get a little bit of pink for strawberries. There we go. One there. And how about some purple dough for grapes? Ta-da! Yay! We did it! Two desserts for the guards. Oh yeah, can't wait to eat it. Here are your keys. Now let's get these ice creams and let's get out of here. Yes! We did it! We got our two keys. Here's the red one. Yes, we got boredom. Welcome back, Wee Wee. And here is the purple key for our purple door. <gasps> uh oh, wait. Embarrassment is not here. Oh, there she is. Oh, I thought we lost him forever. Yay. Thank you, besties, for helping us get all of our emotions out of the vault. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>
Must I always do all the designs around here? I mean, you cannot function without a designer like myself. Voila! Okay, I'm done. You guys can finish up by yourself. Thanks to Disgust, we have the base of the dress done. But now we need to work up towards her head and down towards her feet. Hmm. Oh, I think this might be her head. It's constructed correctly and it's the right colors. Let's place it on top and see what we think. We almost have Joy put together again. We need to make a face real fast. I'll place this one right here. Add another piece on this side. Add a super long one to the bottom. Then I'll put this one here and this here. No, that's not it yet. I'm gonna try again. I'm adding hair on this side. I'll put an eyeball here. And maybe I'll put some more hair in this corner, like this. Put a piece here, and one here. Hey, Joy is looking fabulous. Hair on either side. Whoa! We're missing the back. Whew, I think I found it. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Joy almost missed her hair. The top of her head looks a little silly, and I've got these blue pieces here. So I want to see what happens if I add these blue pieces. Will it make her hair look a little bit more formal and clean? And I think it does. That looks really good. So we'll add it all around. And we've almost got our first character finished. Okay, last step. Let's see what happens. Um, Joy? Joy? You saved me! For a minute, I was a statue, and then poof, I turned into a million little pieces. Oh, we have to save sadness and anxiety. Come on, it's only going to take a minute. So here's all the pieces for sadness. I think this is a good starting point. We can use this and build her face and construct everything off of this. We'll have to start by adding some blue panels for her face. Let's take this, place one up here, and also down here. Oh my goodness, that doesn't look like anything yet. Ah! Fear, what are you doing? Um, I came to see what's happening. I heard all that noise this morning and, oh my goodness, um, I happen to be a fantastic painter. I can paint on some hair real fast. Hold on. <laughs> Almost done. Ta-da. Um, you did pretty good, but you forgot a whole entire wall. I guess we'll help him out a little bit. I mean, after all, he did help us out. We'll put on the three panels to cover this side of Sadness's hair. We also have to make it wavy just like this side. Hmm, let's think a little bit. What could we use? I'm gonna try these pieces right here. We're going to elevate it and make it a little bit taller. To make it super wavy, we're going to add these pieces on. And what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. Oh, her face. Luckily, we have pieces that we can put on that will make her face, hmm, I think that's the wrong piece. Look a little bit more like sadness. She can see again, woohoo. And we can add pieces on the bottom so that she can walk again. Sadness, of course, needs her two arms. And let's place her on her platform and hope that everything worked out okay. <gasps> She's back! Sadness! You know, sometimes I want to change my emotion to anger so that I can get these new emotions out of here. Who would do that to me? Die! Yay! 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 Whoa! Even in anxiety's little pieces are jumpy. Come on, we better put this together. Whew, put them in place. This one can go on top. 
And then I'll put a piece right here. Let's see if it stopped jumping. Ooh, close one. I think I can make a face on the side. I'll put some teeth right here. Oh, and I've got an eyeball, and I'll put some eyeballs here. Oh yeah, that totally looks like anxiety. Hey look, it even matches the character in the back here. It is anxiety. Now we can place the two boots on the feet. And hey, it's starting to look great. Now one thing that makes our anxiety stand out is the hair. I'm going to place it on kind of crooked. And oh my goodness, we're almost done for something for anxiety to stand on. We'll get this here and here and we'll put anxiety on top. Well, that theory didn't work. I wish it did. Anxiety, you can't do that next time. What were you thinking? Yeah, I could have been stuck as a statue for the rest of my life. Now that would have been sadness. Well, I have ten more theories that might work and we might get this room back into order and Riley's imagination back the way I think it needs to be. No, Anxiety, that's not how it works. Riley is now a teenager, and she will let us know which emotion she needs. Fine. Um, 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 to remind you, Anxiety, to never do that again, I built you three replicas of the statues you made so that you don't hit those buttons, okay? Okay? Okay, fantastic. Wow, you guys, we did it. We brought the control center back the way it's supposed to be. And fear even helped us to remind Anxiety never to do that again by building three replicas of the statues that we made. Whoa! Joy, sadness, and of course, anxiety. Everyone made it to headquarters. We have to train and prepare ourselves for summer camp. Riley is out of school now, and we need to practice our slime making skills so that Riley can shine at camp. I made mine yesterday with joy. Oh, so I think I'm okay. Eek! Slime? What if it sticks to my eyebrows and pulls them off? That's my greatest fear. Or if it falls into a dark corner, oh my goodness, and makes the carpet all sticky. Ew, sticky. But I guess we have to do it for Riley. Oh, slime. When's this trend ever going to end? Joy, disgust, fear, sadness, and anger. Hey everyone and welcome back to Nat and Essie. Riley is getting ready for summer camp and all of our emotions have to practice making slime before Riley can go. We have two slimes already made and all we have to do is make one that matches fear, make one that matches anger, and make one that matches our disgust. I have some easy recipes to show you, and we can make our own fantastic slime in the colors of our favorite emotions. The minimum amount of ingredients you need to make slime is two. You need the glue and an activator. After that, you can customize it any way you'd like. We're going to start with fear and make a light purple slime. Start by using some glue, and this time I'm using a solid white to make hopefully a light purple color. And now I'm going to add just a hair of purple paint, just to give this a little bit of color. Light purple, just like fear. Taking my mixing wand, I'm going to mix this all in and make sure it's the color I prefer before adding the activator. Light purple, just like fear. What do you guys think? Let's take our fear character. Hmm. It looks very similar. 
but I think I want just a little bit more purple just to get a little bit darker color. So I'll add one more drop of purple and mix this in together. Ooh, this is looking way more pretty. And I think this is how I want my purple to look like for fear. Once we have the color and the ingredients we want, we add our activator. An activator binds to the glue and changes the chemistry to make it into slime. Mix it together, it's going to start looking like a brain. And after a few minutes, it's going to turn into a beautiful slime. Let's mix it together without breaking it, and let's see what happens. Check it out. I think we made it. We made some really nice purple glossy slime. So for, if you saw the video, Sadness, we made a little bit of a snow slime. For Joy, we made a glot, we made a see-through scented slime. And for our Fear, we now made a glossy purple slime. Woo! Ah! What if it touches me? Oh my goodness, wait a minute, that feels fantastic! That leaves us, ugh with two slimes left to make. And this one feels great. That looks super good. But for anger, we have a container. And because fire has so many different colors, for anger, let's make one fiery red with lots and lots of glitter. We're trying to make slime different for every character. So for anger, to make the glitter shine, we use a clear base of glue. And now we want it to look like fire. Lots of different colors. Two drops of red dye. Lots of orange sparkles. Some pink sparkles. Of course, some fiery red sparkles. And I have these larger sparkles as well, just to give it a little bit of change. We're going to mix all of this together, wow, and create some fire slime. Those sparkles look so good in here. And it definitely looks like a perfect slime for anger. Mixing it all together, it's time to add our activator to make a perfect fiery slime. Mix it carefully. And we're creating slime five different ways to match the emotions of all of our characters. If you enjoy slime videos, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you do, I'll make the new emotions, anxiety, embarrassment, and we and envy. Woo! Time to get my fingers in there. Check out that fire slime. Ugh! It's definitely not slime yet. It's still reacting to one another and binding. But the color of fire is definitely there. Mix, mix, mix. Getting the slime made. Mix, mix. Mix, making some fiery, fiery slime. <gasps> Glitter slime. Five different ways of making slime. And this one is fire red for anger. It even looks like a fire. And it plays with so nicely. What do you think of all these sparkles and there's bubbles? Let's clean this one up. We only have one more slime to make to make the five core emotions into slime. And then Riley will have a good time at summer camp. Placing it into our glass container. Perfect for anger. That's beautiful. We've got one left for disgust. 
So we've made a scented slime that will turn clear over a few days. We've made a glossy slime, a cloud slime, and a fire slime. Hmm, what can we make for our disgust character that might be a little bit different than the others? Let's make a hodgepodge. A little bit of clear slime or glue, milky glue, just a few green sparkles, and a little bit of cloud beads, some green paint, and lastly, some glow-in-the-dark glue. <gasps> That's a fifth type! We're making glow-in-the-dark slime for disgust. That's a lot of ingredients. Ooh, we're gonna have to carefully mix it together and make sure it turns into a green that we enjoy. If we don't like the color, we can always add more green pigment. Mix it away. It's turning out pretty light, almost like her face. So I might, if it doesn't turn out perfect, make it a little bit darker to match her hair. Let's see what it looks like. You know what? I like that color. It's time to add the activator and make a hodgepodge, which is a mixture of many things, into Disgust Slime. At first we mix carefully and then we can dig in with our hands. Clean off our magic wand of all the debris. And I think I'm ready. Ooh, it never feels good at first. But at the end, it always turns out so nice. This one almost makes me think of broccoli. Ew. Actually, I love broccoli. It's perfect. And it's so clumpy and nice. We can almost make it look like broccoli. And check it out. With everything inside, it's got this fun texture. It's a little bit different than anything I've ever made. It feels almost like chewed up bubble gum. Really thick, but wants to be a cloud, but we didn't put enough cloud substance in, so we can make it into like a poofy little broccoli. Let's stuff the broccoli titled slime into our last container. And now we've got one slime for every core emotion. Riley is going to be ready for camp. All the emotions now know how to make a different type of slime. Riley will for sure stand out. All the emotions now have to wait a minute. Don't anxiety and we envy and embarrassment have to make one too? <gasps> Let's find them! We need to make one more round of slime so that Riley is going to be fantastic. And so are you. Also, if you want to see the slime that Joy and I made, um, head over to Nat and Essie and watch the video and we'll show you how to make our slimes. They were fantastic.